everyone this is a tutorial on how to build spheres and circles and whatever floats your boat on minecraft not roblox today so um, i'm gonna start off by showing you the angles so hopefully you can hear me well this is like my seventh time recording this video i've been through a lot of pain so hope you understand um that's why this video might sound sluggish or something i don't know i'm trying my best so if you look um, we have control at the top. This is the precision modes. So if you click R, that rotates them. If you click control, it rotates them more tightly. And control again rotates them at a uh, one degree angle each time. That's we don't we just call it one one. Like this is angle one. This is angle two. That's just um, terms that we have in this game that don't make any sense, but we still use them. Who knows why we use them? I don't know. Um, that's just what happens this game a lot so using that information if we click control so it's in the medium one this is the high one this is low one, this is the medium one the medium one and we click R like this and we can get a circle and after that there's no space left on this poor platform if we go over here um, you can build off of that so if you look at this I'll show you with three pieces here. You can build off of that. Um, this is a mistake. I'm building a mistake right now. Yes. Uh, but I'll show you how to fix it. So if you build off of that like that, and you add your vertical pieces like so, and you delete these pieces holding it all to the middle. Don't delete the middle. The middle, you need the middle of the entire circle. Don't ever delete the middle of your circle, not even when you're done. It's good marking. It's good for weights. It's good for all that. You need it to build the bottom of a sphere, by the way. Yeah, don't delete it. Um, but you can build in from those mistakes to get a perfect circle. Just make sure you do that the whole way around, or else it'll look really bad on the outside. But yeah, once you have that, since this is angled at 2, we're going to have to angle it at 2 when we go up and down if you're making a sphere. If you're making a dome, just go up. But if you look, this is not what we want. This is what we want. Not like the angle, but if it's inside of the prop, that's what we want. We don't. We want this angle going outward, but we don't want that not out, not inside the prop. So get it inside the prop, and then click R until it goes the other way around, and then use Control and get it so it's at a one angle, and use the one angle twice to make a two angle because one plus one is two. Last time I checked. Next, we build down off of that, and then delete these pieces on the back. These are the holders. This is basically like the scaffolding for the building. If you, yeah, I mean, they aren't, but they are today. So, using that terminology, if we do that the whole way around and the whole way up and the whole way down, make a circle. I've already done it a few times. Yes, I could have made a whole entire circle in this video, but that would have been an hour long. It's usually how long it takes to make a really good circle. Um, towards the top, it'll get a bit trickier. You'll just have to experiment. There's different ways to do all that. Use the one that you can use best. Um, yeah. I recommend building your circles down first so that the shadow does not cast on top of what you're building. That'll help you with angle placement and it'll also make it easier for you to see so you don't fall through. And yeah, if you're building up. Um, moving on to one angle circles. They're the exact same, they're just with one angle. So you don't want to do that silly thing um, going up. I'll show you. Sorry all this. This is my third time deleting this. I'm going to try until we get the video right. It's been an hour, two hours, three hours, I don't know. Time is time is money, as Pa once said. But Pa, hmm, Pa was a bit blurry, so I don't really trust Pa. Oh, whoops, don't do that. If you're wondering why I'm building out with trusses and beams differently, um, it's easier to build out with longer pieces if you're getting a certain distance. Building out with this would just take a while and it would be more props and it's just easier to use trusses and stuff. Um, build like this. Sorry, you don't need that. And then add your um, walls on the outside. That Delete. Yes. Yes. And then... Whoops have that on the outside then use 
other blocks on the outside. Don't build these on the interior or else it'll go outwards and look like a big, weird, I don't know. I don't know what that shape would be. It's not a shape, I don't think. Do that and it should look like this on the inside with the ledges. Next, do what we did earlier. But this time, keep that one angle and place it on that one angle. Do not build it like this. Don't build it like that. Build it like this. But if you on these over here, if you build it like we did over here with the one angle on a two angle radius and all that, if you go up, it'll be a big oval. It'll look like an egg, um, except it'll be a perfect egg. It'll be a perfect oval. I don't really, I don't think it looks like an egg because it's not bigger at the bottom. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Okay, it does not matter. Build a circle. Build baby Pluto, and fly away. Do that the whole way, and yeah, if you do it with bigger pieces, this is an example. I'll try my best to recreate this all. Um, you build out, oh, you build out like this with the beams. Sometimes it's tricky to get that placement right there, but once you get it right on the middle, it'll be almost impossible with a trackpad. God forbid. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry all you laptop users. I have a mouse. Mouses are superior. Oh, and if you're playing on mobile, don't even, yeah, just, just click off. I'm sorry. I'm, like, truly sorry. That's not gonna happen. None of this. You can dream about it, but I pay to see this happen on mobile. I don't even think you can rotate. I don't know. I haven't played this game on mobile too much for me to care really so yeah also only build off of the middle if you build off of like um say one second if you're right here and you want to build continuing outward this way builds from the middle because if you build right here i'll show you actually this would be the right way to build out but it's the wrong thing to do if you do that look at the difference there's a gap in this one so if we do a strut beam from this and from this, look, that's off. That's off center. So at the way end, I'll show you this nice little diagram I've done. It'll look like this. It'll look terrible. It'll look extremely off center. And you'll have to cover it up with something which will just make it look even worse. So always build with the middle in mind. It'll, that's a perfect one right there. But it'll probably be like that. And those are extremely hard to fix. Um, y yeah, just don't, just don't build them from the middle. So that's not something we want. Um, yeah, build downward before you build upward. I've said this before. The shadows get in the way of you building, walking, and you'll fall through it and you'll die because there's someone with a sword waiting down there. Whoa, baby Pluto, I'm gonna go check it out. They say they build up, they fly, they use their fly command, they build up. And they kill you. Well, you should arm your baby Pluto with um, force field. Yeah, um, I believe that's all. So, give me a minute. If you if you like this video, join my group. It'll be in the description. We're trying to get more members, and like and subscribe if we're trying to post more in the future. Bye.